Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the Basement Dino Dungeon. Today we have a brand new Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus. Let me show you guys. Check this out guys, a brand new Giganotosaurus from Prime One Studio. We'll be comparing it with other Giganotosaurus figures, okay? At the end of the video, we are going to put the Giganotosaurus into this part right here, into this shelf at level 1 gallery. We'll also pick up every single Giganotosaurus figures from level 2 Jurassic World Midland to do comparisons, okay? We'll pick up the figures from the mini shelves as well. Alright guys, it's time for us to unbox this beauty. Alright, let's open this. It is a really huge figure. The box looks fantastic. If you take a look at the back, you can see this is a huge mini statuette. Yeah, what I'm talking about, huge and mini at the same time, but let's get it out of the box. Cool. Very cool. Right, let's get this out of the box. It is looking pretty good, as you can see. Gigantic figure. Wow, it's pretty heavy as well. I'll put this on the side. It also comes with its own base right here. Okay, let's assemble it. Okay, let's get it out. So this is the base, as you can see. It features a very nice Jurassic World Dominion logo right here. Also the footsteps of the Giganotosaurus on it, which is cool. It is a 1 is to 38 scale figure, limited edition. 1, 2, 4, 2. This is numbered 1, 2, 4, 2. Let's get this out. Alright. Okay. We're gonna be putting it right here. Okay. Let's try to assemble it. You have to assemble it like very accurately, I suppose. Which I'm struggling to. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, it is finally assembled and right here we present the Prime One Studio Giganotosaurus figure 1 is to 38 scale statuette. I think it looks fantastic. If you take a look up close, you can see the detailing on this figure is just absolutely mind-blowing wow every single scale is nicely crafted you can even see the claws wow beautifully done the claws below are beautiful but like claws right here the detailing on it is just amazing the neural spine bones looks very very cool it also has plenty of better scars on its body but i would actually prefer the better scars to be redder in color it is too pinkish in my opinion but overall i think this is a fantastic addition to my collection i can't wait to show you guys how we are displaying it at level one gallery make sure you watch the entire video because i'll be bringing you guys over to level one gallery to show you guys how it looks like along with other statuettes okay so it's now time for us to take a look at all the other giganotosaurus figures let's do this all right guys this will be a full collection video of all my entire collection of giganotosaurus figures okay so the first one right here is actually the figure from hot wheels very cool as you can see if you lift the tail up it will actually go into a attacking mode i've actually got this out from the vehicle playset yep let's put it right at the back i want to show you guys like how every single giganotosaurus look like okay let's just call it gigars okay just for sure okay next up what do we have right here guys we have the strike and raw giga right here which is fantastic we have just replaced the batteries last week let's try this hopefully it works Sometimes it doesn't work, which is kind of weird. Okay, great. It is working pretty well at the moment. Let's press this button. Awesome stuff. Okay, let's put it right over here. 
So we have three pretty large Giga Nodosaurus right here, which is awesome. The next one, Sound Search Figure. This is actually my favorite size. It is not too big. It is fantastic. It also has articulation on the jaw, the arms, and the legs. And it also has sounds, which is fantastic. Okay, and it's not too big, which is which is great. Hopefully, we're able to get more more similar size like this. I think that would be great. You know, recently I actually got this little Jurassic World snow globe. Yeah, it's very cool. I got this from Universal Studios China, Beijing, which is very cool. It also has lights, so let's put this right in the middle. Let's put this right in the middle. Let's turn it on first. Yep, there you go. You can see it's actually changing into red and now green. This is so cool. Let's put it right in the middle like this. It's going to look very, very awesome. Okay, next up. Which Giganotosaurus figure shall we take a look at? How about this one? This is a beautiful one. I love this. This is actually from... It's not from Takara Tomy. It is actually from Sega. It is a claw machine prize. Yep. I didn't go for the claw machine price. I basically bought it off eBay from another seller. Okay, next we take a look at this one. Huge Funko Pop. This is actually a Funko Pop giant figure. Jumbo figure. This is very, very nice. I'm gonna put it right over here. Right over here. I actually like this quite a, quite a lot. It's so cute and adorable. We also have the mini, the mini version, the smaller version, which is um, right on top of the shelves right there so I will show you guys later on we, we still have two Super Colossus Gigars in the Monster Island room which is right over there so we shall go head over there later on okay next let's take a look at this this is actually from WOW I think if I'm not wrong this is actually from a company known as WOW Parts I can't really see because it's really really small let's try to see okay Yep, wow stuff. Very cool. This is actually a minifigure for you to create your own stop motion pictures. Plenty of articulation, the tail can be moved. It also has this little stand for you to do like green screen edit. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna put this one. Oh, yep, the arms. One of the arms actually comes off very, very easily. So I have to be really careful not to lose it. Just gonna put this on right here. Let's see what else we got. Okay, this one is a cool one. Color changing Gigar right over here. Okay, this is actually from Captive Collection. We have the original version as well. Let me just pick it up and show you guys. I'm hoping to actually get more figures of Gigars. I think that would be fantastic because this one is the one and only from Mattel so far, I feel. I mean, in terms of this size, so it's definitely better for us to get more, you know, variation of the coloration. That would be cool. Okay, next up, we have this one right here, guys. This one is a, is one of my favorites. It's actually from a Gashapon. Gashapons are basically little balls you get from the vending machine in Japan. Very cool, from Takara Tomy Arts. Beautiful figure. Let me just put it right here. I love it. Okay, next up. Let's take a look at this one. This is the transforming figure right here. This can be transformed into a Triceratops. You can see the head is actually right inside. It's known as a fierce changer. Uh, I think a lot of you guys actually don't like this figure a lot. But personally, I kind of like it. It's very cute. Yep, very nice. I'm gonna put this on right here. Do you guys know that Chaos Theory is coming up? on May 24th May 24th and there are plenty of new figures plenty of new figures there's like the pseudo ceratops there's a new ceratosaurus as well so I'm super excited okay next we have the Lego Jurassic World Giga right here this is a beautiful one it also has plenty of battle scars as you can see which is very similar to the Prime 1 Studio figure gonna put this on right here so you can see, this is basically like a sea of green. All the different gigars in different shades of green. I like this one the most because it's not too green. It is featuring like a slightly grayish tone. Okay, next, we have the Takara Tomy 
figure right here. So all of the gigas I'm showing you today are all official products. None of them are unofficial. And here we have this doesn't like look like a Giga, that's for sure. It looks like a I'm not too sure. It looks a little bit like a Spinosaurus, but it's a Giga from Imagine Next. Also a Jurassic World official product. Okay, next up. Wall pop-up right here, guys. There are two different versions. Okay, <laughs> this one doesn't really close. Yep, you can see, you have to like force it all the way up. Sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, I think my figure is slightly faulty. Okay, very cute little figure. Let me just put it right here. You still have another wall pop up. Just give me a second. It's right here. So this one, it's, this was actually the first one, first version if I'm not wrong. Sorry, this is the second version. It looks very similar, but the eyes are actually different. This one actually features a set of closed eyes as compared to this one, okay? Next, we have the Funko Mini Pop. Funko Mini, yep, this is a very cute one. Smaller size version, fantastic version. And what about this one? Zoom Rider, very cool figure. Let me just draw this back. You put it backwards and you release it Yep. So I want to hear from you guys, which is your favorite theropod right now? Your favorite carnivorous dinosaur? Is it the T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Indominus Rex, or Giganotosaurus? I want to hear from you guys. My favorite dinosaur since young has always been the T-Rex, but I love the Gig Giganotosaurus a lot as well. Even before Jurassic World Dominion was shown. Yep, I love it because I knew Giga are actually bigger than Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, here it's a color changing mini Giga right here from Captive Collection. This is a very, very cool figure. I'm gonna put this one right over here. Right over here. Okay, cool. And here we have the Mattel mini. This is a very, very cool figure, very soft, but the there is an issue with this figure. It can't really stand. It always falls down. So it can be quite annoying. This is the six inch basic figure. We don't have a 12 inch figure. I mean, they didn't release a 12 inch. Hopefully they do sometime soon. That would be fantastic. And here we have another Mattel Mini. I've shown you guys this one just now. This is actually a better version with a movable jaw. So Giganotosaurus, Giganotosaurus is actually slightly bigger than a T-Rex. It's known as a giant southern lizard. We know that Indominus Rex can defeat the Tyrannosaurus Rex pretty easily. I mean, we have watched, you know, the first Jurassic World movie. We know that without the help of Mosasaurus and Blue, the Tyrannosaurus Rex probably couldn't have defeated the Indominus Rex. But what do you guys think about the Giganotosaurus versus Indominus Rex? Both are about the same size. Which one do you guys think will win in a battle? I would say probably still the Indominus Rex, but the Giganotosaurus is actually very, very strong as well. So it will be a very, very close battle. This is a figure from a book. Yeah, I think it's known as My Busy Book an official licensed product, although it doesn't really look very nice in terms of the detailing, but it is an official Jurassic World product. Next, we have another captive collection, Giga right here. This is actually from the Dino Tracker series. We have the color changing one right over here. Let's see whether it's able to stand on its own. Yep, it's able to stand on its own this one as well but it keeps falling over pretty easily okay next up this is a very cool cool version this is actually the metallic version i love metallic figures and i have a couple of them okay this one i'm gonna put it right over here beautiful figure i'm not sure whether i have missed out any other gigas in my collection i'll probably show you guys some later on 
here is the normal version okay the basic figure from captive collection i love the coloration i think it looks fantastic let's see whether it's able to stand on its own yep and this is one of our last figures micro collection giga right here giga right here beautiful one it's from Mattel as well. I'm gonna put this one right over here. Nice. Looking very, very cool. That's for sure. Okay, here is another one. This one was from a dig kit. Yep, you have to excavate the fossil to uncover this. This is a very cool one. Okay, are there any more left in the box? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, I do have a couple of gigas to show you guys as well. So just follow me. Okay, we are at the top of the first shelf as you can see. So are you able to spot the giga? It's actually right here. Right over here. Sitting right in the corner. Yep, right over there. Oh yes, we do have another one over here. Let me bring it down to show you guys. Okay, check this out. This is an Imagine Next Giga. Comes with sounds and also lights. So this is a very, very cool figure. Definitely, you can see the eyes actually lights up. Okay, I still have one more to show you in Basement Dino Dungeon. Follow me. Okay, check this out. We should have one hidden somewhere. Where is it? This is the Indoraptor, the latest one. Where is the green Giga? Giga or Giga? I'm not too sure, you guys let me know. So this is the one. Beautiful one. The mask. Do we have more? Okay, right here, we still have a couple more, okay? Super Colossal Giga right over here. We haven't seen this guy for a long time. We also have the Rumble and Raw Gigantic Giga from Imagine Next. It is a brilliant figure. Right here, we don't have any other Gigas, I suppose, but we do have a plush figure. Right here. A very cute plush figure. Very, very adorable. And speaking of plush figure, make sure you get yours. Make sure you get your Chonky really soon. Hey, this is a Chonky. I want you guys to get it. This is a limited edition just for Dan dinosaurs, okay? I haven't launched it on IG. Once I launch it on IG, it's basically going to be sold out pretty quickly. Okay, back to the collection. Let's place this figure, the new Prime 1 Studio figure, into the level 1 gallery shelf. Oh, we still have one more right here, guys. This one. It's a very cool one. Okay, follow me to level 1 gallery shelf. Wait a minute guys, we still have one figure. Not exactly a figure. Check this out. This is actually from Burger King. A very nice one. You can see the logo of the Burger King right here. Yep, we got this from Japanese online store not too long ago. Alright guys, we're now at level 1 gallery. So last night I actually cleaned up this entire space and we have reserved a space just for the Giga, okay? So I'm gonna put it right in right now, okay? So let's do this. Okay, so now we are going to place it right in. Okay, let's see. This might block the plaque. How about this direction? This direction doesn't look nice. We definitely need to show the logo. So let me just put it right over here. Maybe behind the Brachiosaurus. Let's try this. Maybe this is better. Like this, so that we can still see Dan Surprise logo at the front. Okay, maybe this is this is better. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Okay, check this out. So it has been placed onto the first row so it's looking pretty good so this is basically level one gallery shelf sitting right here it's the latest prime one studio giga if you move down 
this is basically just the Nan Moon Studio figures. This part are actually all the you know official products except for this one. So that that is from Primon Studio as well, if I'm not wrong. This is actually from How Long Ku. So these are pretty cool. Yep. So maybe we can also put the Giga right here. Probably. Maybe not. Let's see. We can shift things around next time. And this row is basically some Nanmu Studio as well. Alright. Okay. Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Goodbye. Oh!